another minute 21 to redeem it. Hey. So, one of the interns has called me and she's concerned that she's been exposed to COVID from a patient today. She said that they were doing breathing treatments and CPAP on the patient. She did have her N95 and gloves on, but she didn't have her eye protection on. At the very beginning of COVID, everyone was scared because we didn't know what was going on. We were concerned that we didn't have the appropriate PPE, the personal protective equipment that we needed, and there were just a lot of unknowns and we didn't know if we were going to get sick and if we got sick what that was going to do to us or our family so i mean it was scary so it says this patient's unconscious and i don't have any als to send which means i don't have any paramedics to send so we're going to go over there and see how bad the patient is and we'll have to provide care if we need to and then everyone thought we were getting better and then this delta wave hit and it's just been terrible ever since. For this last wave so far of the coronavirus, it has just been All right, thank you. worse than it was before. We've seen a lot more patients, whereas at the beginning, we did have an X amount of patients, um, but they weren't sick like they are now. We're seeing multiple people with the COVID pneumonia we're seeing lots of people that have actually gone to the emergency room or to their doctor. They've tested positive and or they've been diagnosed with the pneumonia. A day or two later, they're just struggling to breathe. And we're having to either intubate them or do CPAP or do other procedures on them to try to get them stabilized to get them to the hospital alive. While he's getting situated, we need an O2 tank, that way he can go into the hospital. We've also seen uh, an uptick in the cardiac arrest that have also been COVID positive as well, where we didn't see as many of that as before in the first wave. You um, ventilate him a little bit faster. I want to see if I can get that capnography to come down any. We know that sometimes when we have to intubate someone in the field, they may or may not come off the ventilator once they get to the hospital. So it weighs heavily on us that we have to do that, thinking that they may not never wake up or they may perish while they're on the ventilator. Resuscitated arrests have to go to a cath lab, remember? I know. Fortunately, we kind of know what we're doing since we've already lived through it for this long. We're more skilled at being better protected, at using our critical thinking and knowing exactly what we're doing and how we're handling it. Virginia Beach for EMS 1. Go ahead. But the thing that we're having trouble with is handling the sheer amount of people that we're seeing on a daily basis. Yes, we're good. It's stressful. All of our volunteers, all of our career staff, they are working to the max. They are going to the hospital, dropping their patient off, and then having to leave just to go get another one. All right. Well, we're going to get you on the stretch and get you over to the hospital, okay? And I'm not saying that it's just purely COVID that is affecting us. You know, we have the typical medical calls, the heart attacks, the strokes, the accidents. But with all the COVID cases on top of it, it's running us really, really thin. So, is there a medicine? Does he have a medicine list in here too? Morale is low, stress is high. Do you know what medicines he takes? As far as people's home lives, they're scared of taking it home. I'm scared of taking it home to my family. I haven't seen my family since 2019 at Christmas, and then the virus hit, so I've avoided them. Um, my husband has also avoided his family, so we haven't seen our family in quite some time. And it's just stressful. I worry that I'm going to come home not knowing that I am infected and he'll potentially become infected. We are both vaccinated, but it's still scary to know that yeah. we could still contract the virus, and that it could still potentially have long-term effects. He told me his head was killing him. I believe it. Frustrations are rather high. We're overrun. We're stressed out. We're overworked. We just need people to realize that they can help us by getting the vaccine social distancing and following proper mask guidance it would help us tremendously hey this is randy with hms someone called requesting transport for room 109